Good morning, here is today's prayer. Dear Lord God, thank you for your holy words which I read in my Bible. How sweet are your words to my taste. Sweeter than honey to my mouth. Psalm 119 verse 103. I pray that the words that go forth out of my mouth shall be pleasant words, like honey to the people around me. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. Proverbs 16 verse 24. I want my words to be like sweetness to the soul and health to the bones of others so that I may encourage them, build them up and point them to you. If I may share the love and sweetness that you give to me, I will be blessed and I will be a blessing. Let me always speak and minister to others out of the overflow I receive of your love, my Lord God. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies, that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. 1 Peter 4 verse 11. All glory and honor belong to you, my Lord God. In the loving name of Jesus I pray. Amen. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of knowledge. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding. The Spirit of counsel and might. The Spirit of knowledge and. Of the fear of the Lord. Isaiah 11 verse 2. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of knowledge, it is His presence in the words of Scripture that helps you see what is true. It is His presence that inspires the accuracy of human authors as they wrote the Scriptures so that you can trust what you read in the Bible. It is His presence that fills each word in the Bible so that your heart will burn within you as you read the words of Scripture, Luke 24 verse 32. O Spirit of knowledge, I have had knowledge of the Scriptures, but I want my heart warmed with the Bible. I want the Word of God to capture me and compel me to live for you today. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of knowledge, He can do much for you that you do not yet realize. I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love Him, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. To fully understand, you must let the Holy Spirit teach you, because God, the Father, has revealed them to us through His Spirit, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 10. Ask for the Spirit's indwelling presence to enter your understanding, then yield to His guidance. O Spirit of Knowledge, I will study the Word of God to learn more of you. I will apply the principles of Scripture to my life so that I can obey you. I will obey the commands of Scripture to follow you. I will meditate on the words of Scripture to grow in Christ. Amen. Go deeper, 1 Corinthians 2. The Holy Spirit can give you correct knowledge. Tomorrow, Jesus, Him who is and who was and who is to come, 